And damn, so every now and then I go check this TikTok page, right? Because they post so many of my videos, right? This video that I, I, I made and that this guy takes clips of got damn near half a million views. Damn near 400,000 views. <laughs> Wait a minute. This video I did you got 20K views. 10k views. <laughs> this dude just be posting my shit. <laughs> 34,000 views. <laughs> 9,000. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look. <laughs> 92,000 views. Let's see what I was talking about with this video that got. What was I talking about on this video? Let me see what this clip's talking about. Are from here. You ain't nowhere around, nowhere from here. You, you don't descend from Nubians. You don't descend from Ethiopians. You don't descend from none of these people. You're from Central and West Africa. Right here. This is your hood. <laughs> this is your hood. Be proud of it. Rep that. So everybody with a comedic name has a name based off their slave master. Because Berbers and Arabs and slave job during the Arab slave trade. All this shit was never y'all's. They've been there forever. <laughs> 6,000 comments, 27,000 love buttons. I mean, like, if y'all think my message ain't getting out, you better think again. Y'all ain't got to share my shit. <laughs> my shit's all over the goddamn TikTok and Instagram. Just going crazy viral. But let's see what the... What, is, what does he have? What did he put up of me lately? You know what? This is a good clip. This clip got 4,000 views. This is a very good clip. Check it out. You want to compete with white folks so bad, you're okay. I mean, because you're in competition with white folk, bottom line. In your mind, subconsciously, you want to compete with white folks so bad, you're okay with creating a fake history. So white folk can think, you used to be kings and queens and you built pyramids, so you did things something better than them. And one time you had pyramids and you had an empire and you want white folk to really think you're in competition subconsciously with white folk. This is what's driving your fucking ego. This is what's driving you to continually, continually, even in 2022, to embrace these old lies. I mean... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so this is this is the psychology of it. You people are you conscious community their conscious community is in competition with white folk instead of being in competition with themselves to improve themselves. They want to embrace all kind of romanticized lies because they think you they think black folk in the conscious community think you sticking it to white folk if you push and embrace lies. We're going to stick it to them. <laughs> and all you're doing is sticking it to yourself and continuing to live in la-la land. Let's listen to this again. Because you're in competition with white folk, bottom line. In your mind, subconsciously, you want to compete with white folk so bad, you're okay with creating a fake history. So white folk can think, you used to be kings and queens and you built pyramids, so you did things something better than them. And one time you had pyramids and you had an empire and you want white folk to really think you're in competition subconsciously with white folk. This is what's driving your fucking ego. This is what's driving you to continually, continually, even in 2022, to embrace these old lies. I mean, teach them, chief. Teach them, chief. Chief X is teaching the mat teaching the masses. Now check this out. I have to, I have to play this. 
Because I told you niggas pre-dynastic Egypt. This is that red black top. Excuse me. Black top pottery I did a video on. Because Ankh and Brother Smash Rockwell came for me. And tried to act like pre-dynastic Egypt was all in Nubia. And these black folk was doing all this. I said no, 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 no. You guys are confused. <laughs> confused as fuck. Because the Nakata culture and that Badarian culture was people from West Asia who been came in before Egypt was a, a before Egypt was unified. They'd been up and down there for thirty thousand years, coming in from the Mediterranean, all up and down the Nile River, all the way down to that first cataract. And they bet not, no black motherfucker come up from that first Cadillac trying to come around there or you're going to get smashed. That's why the, the Egyptians felt. But check it out so you can understand. Culture Known from the sites of Tel El Farka and Madi in the Delta, the Darien period, named after the site of El Badari, marks the earliest attestation of agriculture in Upper Egypt. The first black-topped redware appears as well, and it would remain in usage for hundreds of years afterward. The final period of pre-dynastic Egypt is known as the Nakata culture, divided into Nakata I, or Emration, Nakata II, or Gerzian, and Nakata III, or the Proto-Dynastic period. Most of our knowledge of this era comes from a stretch of cemeteries near Nakata in Upper Egypt, but the settlement and shrine at Hierakonopolis has provided archaeologists with extremely valuable insights as well. Contemporary with the Nakata period was the Lower Egyptian culture, known from the sites of Tel El Farka and Mahdi in the Delta. Though this society is often neglected... All this was Mediterranean people coming in and out of here for thousands of years before uh, uh, Egypt was formed. Before pre-dynastic Egypt. What, no black folk coming up and down here ever? Unless they wanted to get their head smacked with a sickle. They was keep that first cataract and keep you out, out of in, from going up and down here anyway. It's a natural border to prevent Egypt's enemies. It always has been. Let's continue. In favor of its upper Egyptian cousin, many findings from the site have been spectacular, such as this 60 centimeter tall gold statuette with inlaid lapis lazuli eyes, probably representing a deity or ruler. Toward the end of the Nakata II period, the Lower Egyptian culture was subsumed into the Nakata. In other words, he was talking about those blue-eyed depictions <laughs> that you guys totally ignore and never speak about. Culture. As stated earlier, agriculture and domestication likely arrived in Egypt through the Levant. The cultivation of wheat and barley spread throughout the valley, allowing for the production of bread and beer, which became staples in the ancient Egyptian diet and funeral offerings for the rest of its history. Domesticated cattle were introduced to these communities by pastoralists from the western desert. Along with sheep and goats, they provided the Egyptians with meat, milk, and raw materials for clothing. But they continued to fish in the river and hunt game in the desert for secondary sources of food. Although they were gradually abandoning the increasingly inhospitable high deserts, the Egyptians still visited occasionally, collecting minerals such as grey whack and gold, and inscribing rock art into the wadi walls. While early houses were made of wood and reed mats, those of the later Nakata period were constructed out of more stable, unbaked mud brick. The Darien period, named after the site of El Badari. All right. So I just wanted to show a few videos and clown around when I come around with the underground. What I'm talking about here, what do you put up here? This one got 2,500 views. About the Omex, the genome wasn't mapped. We didn't have DNA science. We wasn't into genetics. So everything was wild, wild west intellectually. Today we have science. We can weed this shit out. We have the genetics, genetic history of North Africans. We have all kinds of science links explaining that the modern day Egyptians that are there right now, who y'all think is Arab, but Egypt is only 70, 17% Arab. So, because sometimes people in the Mediterranean area 
in those neighboring, they favor, just like we favor. I may look just like a Ghanaian and a Nigerian may look alike. We favor. So people in the Mediterranean area favor. If I, when Ivan Van Sertema was running off at the mouth and making these claims and shit about the Omex, the genome wasn't mapped. And we didn't have DNA science. We wasn't into genetics. So everything was wild, wild west intellectually. <laughs> I, I'd be so excited about this dude with uploading my videos. I don't even be knowing. This one got 12,000 views. I don't know what I was saying right there, but something important. They don't all claim each other as one people. It's not all Asia love. It's not like that in Af on the with continental Africa. Okay, now I'm going to go there. <laughs> Yeah, this is another one of mine. 20,000 views. This is another one of mine. 34,000 views. If you think people ain't getting the message. Wait a minute. Did I do this? In the areas of Vietnam, when uh, the Vietnamese, when they were fighting in... Oh, wait a minute. That's crazy feel. Like this dude. One blank. Uh, I think I influenced this cat. Ain't nobody, I ain't never seen nobody with a map up on their computer like me. Like, like, hey, my computer, right? And I got my map above it. <laughs> and he got a map above it. And he's talking about non-black Egypt. I don't know who this cat is, but I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I influenced him. <laughs> you know, <laughs> let, let's, just be, let's just be objective about it. Um, the DNA test uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I influenced this cat <laughs> with the map above. You know what I mean? I keep telling people, you have to have your map near your workstation and computer, because when you talk in history, you can refer to the map in geographical areas in geography, and get clarity from just looking and thinking. Okay, get you a map. Not only do I have a big old map above my workstation and desk, I got a globe I used to fuck with, and I still do fuck with. Okay? That howler hit whiskey. <clears throat> Look at my tobacco shelf. Got the little decorations, the matches, the different quality tobaccos. I keep them in mason jars, depending on the size. My, um, Oh, one's missing. <laughs> My um, pipe rack. This is like a little little man cave shelf, right? Cat black old school tobacco. Some bourbon when I want to have some bourbon, a whiskey with my smoke. Early morning pipe. Peterson. Some old cigars I've had for like three years, but shit from Ensenada, Mexico. I'll never smoke them. <laughs> oh man this rock come from Ghana I got a bunch of rocks I took some stuff some earth from Ghana when I went just give me a little reminder I'm not using for decorations alright I just wanted to show you that I do be viral when other people upload my shit so, like, I'm the only person who share my videos cause, because they're so controversial, right? Since my videos are so controversial and new, correct information, a lot of people, nobody shares them except me. So my views may not be high. Now, if people really cared about history and were, like, really into it, <laughs> my shit would be having a million views, right? It's just that profound. Okay, so but when someone else shares it who is into history and who has followers, you'll see I get damn near a, a, a quarter of a million views and shit. Yeah, dig, yeah, dig. All right, y'all, I'm out. Fight night time. <laughs>